Hello, this is Hani Padishwa. I have completed my BSc from Kuwait and I have done a project. This is the web interface of my project. And here you can see that this is the website of my project that is the co plan project. It is a plan monitoring system, and here I can easily log in, sign up, and now I am signing up. You can see that it is nothing because it is the initial stage. Now I am logging after uh, putting some data. I am logging into my account, and you can see that here is the data that is showing. Here is the data records, and the, and I I can also input the data manually, and I can also change the name of the plans. I am using three type of plans. Now it is the first initial test without any kind of wave interface this is the initial test and you can see that i have connected the three moisture sensors three humidity sensor and temperature sensors and three LDRs to the Arduino mega these things are kind of connecting to the mega and i am i am just watching the output data to the serial mode and it is connected to the pc you can see that the same mode is showing the data retrieved from the sensor and this is the code you can even check that I am getting data uh, to the serial monitor uh, and it is giving the data that is coming from the sensors and now I am testing the moisture sensor whether these things are working or not you can easily see that now I am putting one of the moisture sensor to the water and you can see that the moisture level moisture level is now the moisture level of the first moisture sensor you can see that I am now putting the top in the moisture sensor and you can see the first one is giving value 85 and the other two ones are giving 8 and 3 moisture level is not so high for them but the, for the first sensor is giving very high value of the moisture now it's becoming again low now the second one I am now putting the second one to the water and you can see that it's giving value around 90 or 87 something like that and the other two one is very low now I am testing the earlier and you can see that the light level for the first one it's reducing other two ones are almost uh, 54 56 70 or the, but the first, first one is about 15 to 10 range and now the second one is now becoming 20 the second one is now very low value now i am testing the third one and it is now giving low value and now i am testing all the three sensors it's all the three are in dark condition and you can see that they are giving very low value and the next thing that I have to do now is that now I have to connect it to the DSM module. Okay. Now here is the final test. This is the final test of my ProPlan project. This is the whole setup for my project. Here you can see that this is the Arduino Mega, the main microcontroller, the three humidity and temperature sensors, three moisture sensors and three LDRs for sensing the light levels and here is the GSM 900A module for sending the data to, to the web interface and here is the my code for the whole system this code is uploaded to the Arduino Mega and there is the web interface of my project and it is connecting to the internet here you can see that the whole thing is working just on just using the DSM module nothing is used here 
all the thing is done over the internet i am just taking power from the computer and the system is working fine nothing is applied if i just give power to the mega from uh, anywhere else or a 9 volt battery it should also work because the thing is working over the internet or with uh, using the sim 900a module that is the gsm module now i am showing giving you some demo showing you some demo of my project i am applying light to the ldr so the light level should be changed and here you can see that it's now the range is now the initial range is now 46 or 50 range in 50 in 40 to 50 range now i am applying light and if it works then the value should be changed and i am applying light and you can see that so the light level must need to be changed and you can see that it is increasing before it was about 40 to 50 now it's about 60 and but it takes some time because it's passing the data through the http protocol of the gsm module so it takes some time to update the data and here you can see that the data the sunlight level is now about 70 7 and 70 range so it was before 40 range but it is now 70 to 80 range and now you can see that now if i so you can see that it is now 70 to 30 now if i remove the light if i now remove the light from the layers and now remove the light so the it should now come now decrease to the before level now you can see that it's decreasing now it has come to the before level it is about again it's about 40 to 50 range and you can easily see that so i have the had the moisture that i have shown you before in my initial test. these things are also works this thing could also be work but i am cannot showing you know i am not showing it now all the so in this way i can easily uh, communicate with the wave using this dsa module and Arduino mega and nothing is required thank you